The moment of truth. Look at all that money. You try and push it backwards? Yeah, I'm just trying to. Try and get it pushed backwards, all right. You can't even get your freaking footing. All right, we got, uh, what, 46 of the laundromat. Not to clickbait anybody, but I am serious. This is the last quarter collection of YouTube for this laundromat with this equipment. <laughs> I'm, I am retaining it. Um, so where we're at right at the second uh, Danny's video of the renovation series of how to fix my laundromat crap would have been on Tuesday. This video should be on Thursday. Um, the biz new business reveal will be on Saturday. So make sure that you like and subscribe to my content if you wanna see what the new companies I bought are. I bought three companies for a princely sum of $675,000. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. All right, here's the money. Looks good. Hopefully you can see the money there. So that's gonna go in Brandon's pocket. That'll go to the bank. We're gonna get our quarter bucket. We'll see. Oh wow, it's actually pretty dang heavy. So we're gonna dump this and this will be the quarter bucket. The vending machine bucket. So this will go back in the machine. That's where it goes. Here's the homeless kid we're talking about soon. All right, uh, let's see. We'll talk about the homeless guy here in a second. Try and give life advice to him. He wasn't here doing laundry, which is, uh, I wanna take some quarters out and give them to these people. I wanna have a good relationship with the homeless. All right, so we got the quarter machine. Uh, I'll see. Here. Do you like Mountain Dew too? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna give one to your friend too. Uh, he just wanted, he just to use my messenger. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I thought I figured he's your friend. Yeah, I'll be done with this and. Uh, and then uh, you just go to add account. If you have to remove one. There's two Mountain Dews there, anything for you. All right. But I'll be done in about 20 minutes. All right. Huh. Okay. So there's two homeless guys outside. I don't know why my Wasco mat, oh the crap. I don't know why this Wasco mat's like looking like this. I don't see any drugs hidden. Well, they're coming out here in a week. So anyway, as I was saying, we're doing a laundromat renovation series. Uh, Danny came by and gave me some advice. The, <laughs> just for reference, it's locked. The guy out there seems pretty nice. So we're doing a laundromat um, in, uh, renovation series and uh, figure out what's going on and fix the laundromat. So, I don't know. The kid that's out there, the homeless kid out there right now, seems really nice. The guy that he's with, <laughs> I wonder a little bit. All right, cool, look at that. So, he looks a little skeevy. No offense, homeless guy. If you're watching it, the kid seems really nice. Just, I feel bad for him. He was in the foster care system and got screwed. I, I don't personally know anything about that, but at my church, they are very big into the foster care system. They're currently working with the state of Ohio to try and fix some things going on with the foster care system. He doesn't have access to a uh, card, so. All right, well, let's do this. So hopefully this uh, GoPro video doesn't look too bad. I apologize if it does, so. Here's washer one, washer two. We'll do it this way, guys. Gosh, I hope I don't get robbed, but the cameras are looking good. 
if I do get robbed. So we're gonna go down the line and uh, we'll show it this way. I'm gonna go through, we'll get some more and uh, see what it looks like. I'll do the vending machine there last. So here we are with all these quarters. All right. Okay. Once again, each one of these is for $140. Yeah. All right. I hope this doesn't make you guys too sick. What sucks is I'm filming this in two completely separate formats. So there we go. And I'm going to put this all back and then we're going to go to our vending machine. Here we go with the vending machine. Put this in my pocket. Hopefully I don't annoy you, but we're going to do this all with one hand. Here is my bill acceptor. I don't expect there to be too much money in here, but we'll see. That's not too bad. This will go in my pocket. Actually, actually, this is a pretty good collection. That's not too bad. Yeah. So there, we're gonna get the money bucket. This is dimes and nickels and quarters. Yeah. We have more money in ones than we do in bills or coins. So uh, as a quick reminder, this thing right here gives change out. You never have to refill it. There's a computer in there. Even though this machine's probably, what, 30 years old? There's a integrated circuit in there that uh, controls all that. Now for, for the moment of truth. Look at all that money. It's nice being a laundromat owner. Okay, so we're gonna take this money. We'll put it in the bucket. Put it under here. So if the homeless people walk by, they won't see the cash that I have here. I am getting a bill stacker here for this very soon. I've actually got it, I just haven't put it in yet. Um, I'm trying to make this more efficient. So this will probably be the last inefficient bill collection. Put that in there. Okay, or we'll see if I need to, I have to bring back, what's that? If I have to bring back quarters, and yes I do! It's almost empty. So we're gonna change this whole process here very soon, guys. 
uh, for the YouTube channel and my personal thing because I've got to get more efficient. And if you watch the Danny D'Angelo video, um, we talk about that a lot. I'm excited about all the new Dexter equipment. Everything in here is coming out except that'll stay. That'll stay. The, uh, the jury's out on the quarter pusher. So um, I'm still thinking about it. It makes, you know, it makes good money. All right. Oh, bucket money of one. Here's one bucket of money. Oh my gosh, this is great. All those poor people they have. Uh, car stuck. You get it unstuck yet? No? All right, hold on. You try and push it backwards? Yeah, I'm just trying to. Try and get it pushed backwards, all right. Cool. I'm willing to help you. Oh my goodness. Come forward. Just keep going. Woo! Alright. Dang! Teach him how to drive next time. Thanks, man. You could do it. You, you'd have had that car out of there in 30 seconds. That's the car that got stolen. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. This is about two weeks worth of money. Um, I actually went on vacation for once and I pulled a bunch of money out of the machines before I left, recycled some quarters. And this is what was going on. Here is vending machine money. This is the vending machine bucket. This is the washer dryer bucket. Um, nickel, this is surplus nickel and dimes, um, which, uh, that is what it is. We got this over here. Um, that I just put it in here. Let me see how much it is. Um, all right. So that's how it is. We will total it up on screen. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe so you can watch the next business that I purchased. It's three businesses, $675,000. Um, I, it'll be a million dollar business if I do the right thing. And I got a partner on it. So all right, let's start counting money. All right, here we go with our vending machine collection only. Watch the quarters and dimes go. Look at them. They're quite delicious, guys. Let's be honest about it. Also, there's going to be some black bars on the side just because of my phone messing up. So ignore that and ignore the messy dimes and nickels while we're at it. Go 513 quarters and a whole bunch of dimes and nickels and a bunch even more are on the floor. And here's the total for the washers and dryers, 588.75. Now we'll start counting the cash here, which is really important. We do this to compare the number of quarters that we paid out and came back in the machines and then the actual amount of dollars that came in. The vending total was 209.25. Um, we want to write all that down on our 3D printed spreadsheet, or actually it's a two-dimensional spreadsheet that I have on the counter. So now we're going through the dollar bills just for washers and dryers, and um, at the end of the video, I'm going to total it up so we can take a look at it. Um, definitely cash flows down, but with the new machines coming in, I expect us to do very well in the very near future.
So this time we had a surplus of 282.25. Make sure you check out investmentjoy.com stocks because I bought this new company just with my profit in stock.